Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Veronica Dominguez, independent Sensi consultant from Toronto. For today's video, I have another haul for you guys. It has been a while since I've done one of these, but before we do that, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're aware of all future videos. So for the month of October, since they actually had a promotion going on that anyone who closed off a party, this is for Canada, that was $665, they got free, two free items, which normally they don't really do this. So this was a nice little touch. Um, I managed to close off a very large party, so I did receive these two items free. So the first item was the Classic Curve mug. I actually already have this mug, so I mean, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt to have a second one. And I think it is so cute. It looks like this. It is the shape of the wax bars. I really like that. This is warm the, is it warm the heart? Yeah, warm the heart, enliven the senses and inspire the soul. And then it says Scentsy on the back. Very cute mug and it's purple on the inside. Really, really like that. And then we also got a free blanket. So originally the blanket was the purple blanket. Um, I don't know the specific name for it, but this is the blanket with the Scentsy buddies all over it. I'm not gonna open that up right now, but always nice to have this for winter. I'm, I'm a very cold person in general, so I'm all, I always need blankets on me all the time. All right, so the first thing I have here is the whiff box, and this is, of course, the whiff box for October, which most of you have already seen. Um, I had another customer who was really interested in getting this one. This, this whiff box was awesome for October. Now, I know it's November, Okay, you guys are probably thinking, hold on, you received the whiff box in November, so why isn't it the whiff box for November? Because I ordered it in October. So as long as you order it within the month of October, you would get the whiff box for October. As soon as November came, as soon as November 1st comes and you order the whiff box November 1st, then you're going to get the November whiff box. All right, so next up we have here the Crush Diamond Warmer. Guys, this warmer has been my most popular selling warmer. So I have a coworker. She decided to get this one, and then she decided she wanted to get a second one, you know, just to put where, like, her TV is so she can have one on each side so it looks, you know, really, really nice. And I brought it to work, and not, not one, not two, but three of my other coworkers saw it. I'm going to post a picture up here for you guys to see it because this warmer is absolutely beautiful. Um, so I had three more co-workers decide that they wanted to get this one So I have three more here that I'm gonna have to um, deliver to them today actually So I'm that's why I wanted to also get this haul out of the way I'm like they need to get these warmers in their hands because I know they've been anxiously waiting But this warmer is beautiful Absolutely love this one. It is definitely a very very good option if you guys are looking for a nice tabletop warmer It, it has the perfect amount of like that that sparkle like if you get a mirror a mirror sorry if you guys get like a flashlight and you just like put it on like have it facing it you can see like the not that you're gonna have a freaking light like facing the warmer but it just makes it look that much prettier you know I me and like glitter and sparkle like anything that is shiny it catches my attention like I'm that girl okay then I have here some light bulbs it's always good to have some of these on hand because if you have your warmers on for Basically, 24-7, the light bulbs are going to go out quicker, so it's better to just have a few on hand, you know, just in case of that little emergency, so you can always have your fragrance going, because if your light bulb is out, you're not going to have any fragrance. Next up, I have here a dryer disc in lavender cotton. I absolutely fell in love with the scent, so I'm not really a big fan of having, like, lavender scents on in the house, like, for fragrance, but in the... And the laundry line I actually really really like it and this one is bomb like it is so good I really really like this one so it's very surprising that I ended up liking something like that then we have here a few of these scent circles so we have Amazon rain bright cider life red berry and spruce really really like this one in the wax really good one we have jammy time arctic kiss and one of my favorites from the new scents that released for the catalog, Graham Cracker Crunch. This one is the only scent that I know of that has a peanut butter note to it. And it is so freaking good. It's so, 
oh i just love it love it love it and next up we have here one random scent pod it is the disney mickey mouse and friends guys this to me you guys know how much i love i love anything peaches okay anything peaches give it to me like this is fuzzy peaches in a scent pod it is amazing i want to see how it performs in the scent pod I don't mind it with the wax bar, but I feel like it might perform a little bit better in this. So if it does, I'm going to have to stack up on a few of these. I have a customer. She is obsessed with this set. And uh, girl, I'm just as obsessed with it too. I have one last item left before we get into smelling some of the wax bars, which I'm obviously excited for. So we have here the Scentsy Air Purifier. I've been waiting to get this. I know when this first came out, um, it was on back order, so some people had to wait. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be patient. Um, I, I, I have a feeling because of, you know, the whole pandemic and wanting to make sure that the air around you is clean. I have a feeling that really the pandemic is the cause of the back orders on... Hi, Cairo. You're here to visit mommy? Are you here to visit mommy again? He has no idea what to do anymore. It's it's in and out of the room, in and out of the room. So yeah, I have a feeling that the cause of the pandemic is the reason for the cause of the back order on these. You know, everyone just wants to make sure that the air around them is nice and clean, you know, getting rid of all of that nastiness that is built up in our homes to make sure that we do not get sick. Um, I, I mean, I, I've been pretty good at actually not getting sick from this pandemic. I mean, we're all wearing masks. I don't think anyone has gotten the flu in like two years now, I would say about, you know, yeah, like nobody has the flu because everyone's washing their hands. Everyone is being as clean as possible. And then watch when all the masks come off. Everyone's going to start getting sick. So I think it'll be really nice to have this. And the really nice thing about this is that you can still add your fragrance to this, which is pretty cool. So I'm very, very excited to start using this thing. All right, and let's get into the smelling of all the wax bars. This is always my favorite part. I just, I don't know, I just always, I always look forward to smelling something new, something different. So I do believe I ordered two single bars of scents that I've never smelt. And then of course we have the scents of the season that I'm going to be smelling. So at first I was going to do a separate video for the scents of the season, but I decided, you know what, I'm just going to do this all in one video. Just get this out of the way so I can get this out to you guys. So first up we have here aloe water and cucumber. This is one of the very first fresh scents that I fell in love with. It is such a pretty, beautiful, fresh scent. Like I... I love this one. It's such a nice one. Next up we have here palm trees and ocean breeze. I did order three of these, I believe, for a customer. There's a reason why this was such a hot seller. Like a lot of people really, really love this one. A very nice tropical, fresh, juicy, aquatic scent. Really, really like that one. Next up we have here Arctic Kiss. This is such a beautiful, fresh, it's like a how do I describe this one? It's like a sweet, fresh, sweet, fresh scent. Yeah, it has, I believe this has like vanilla in here, vanilla clouds. Like it's, if you guys need a fresh, sweet scent, Arctic Kiss is the one, like you guys need to pick this one up. It's really, really nice. Next up we have here, Appealing Apple. Guys, this one, this one, I can't even tell you guys how obsessed I became with this scent. So we have Johnny Appleseed already, which I like but appealing apple i love this one has pear in it but it's a little bit sweeter where like johnny apple seed is, is just that straight up like fresh juicy apple but this one is even sweeter i don't know if it's the pear that's making it a little bit sweeter but i love this one this one is such a good one we have here oh another palm trees and ocean breeze Oh, another palm trees and ocean breeze. How many did I order of these ones? Jesus. Okay. Then we have here cozy cardigan. This is a really, really nice scent for the bedroom. It wasn't a favorite of mine, but it's a nice scent. It's a nice scent. I do think it is appropriate for the bedroom. We have here butter pecan. Ugh. Can't help it but to just smell these ones, guys. I really, really can't. We have here. So I decided to try this one for the first time. I haven't tried this in the wax bar but i've 
I've just always been interested in it and I always just end up picking anything that's more seasonal because I know that this is always in the catalog, at least for now. And that is Sunkissed Citrus. This is a really, really nice, nice citrus scent. Ooh, that is really, that is very, very bright. It is very awakening. So if you need something to wake up your ass, I guess it just might do the trick. So I'm excited to try this one out. We have here, of course, another graham cracker crunch. Guys, I am obsessed with this one. Oh, like you get that peanut butter note. This one, guys, I already know what's going in my club. This one's going in my club because I have a feeling they're probably going to take this out for spring and summer. And I'm not trying to be without it. it without it. We have here salted caramel toffee this was actually a brick from last year that came back in a bar form so we have here squeeze the day guys i have this in the brick form so i tried it in the bar and i i became obsessed with it this scent is so fucking powerful like it is powerful i have this in the basement first day smelt so strong a week later it still smelt just as strong so you know when you go in like you're cleaning your bathroom and stuff i feel like this adds like this extra like your bathroom is like super super clean like it is just such a fresh clean scent i absolutely absolutely love that one very very long lasting we have here a vanilla bean buttercream this is the one scent i always recommend for people if they're not sure what to get in the bakery category just because it's a very simple scent it's a very it's a very worldwide known scent so vanilla buttercream next up we have here coconut lemongrass i actually got three of these for a customer i would say performance wise this would be just as strong as squeeze of the day maybe squeeze of the day might be a little bit stronger in my opinion i would say that those two are amazing to have that very like clean clean scent going on in your homes when well, someone walks in they're like girl did you just clean your house yes bitch i did okay next up i have here jammy time so i finally finally bit the bullet and said you know what let's just finally try an actual laundry type of scent in the home i'm not like for example clothesline i'm not into uh clean breeze i'm not into if it's a super strong laundry scent i just don't like it for the home but i feel like i can get away with this as like a fragrance in the home it's just that i'm obsessed with this in the laundry line i have the laundry love bundle i've been using it makes my clothes smell so good so Oh, so like comforting like I absolutely love it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna give this one a try The only other laundry scent I've ever tried in my house is Amazon rain Which isn't really like a laundry type of scent and then pink cotton which is like half of it It's like a half a laundry scent because it has like that sweetness and the berries in it Where this one I feel is more of like a hard-on type of laundry scent after clothesline and um, clean breeze this would be like in third place for like super like laundry type of scent so I'm like you know what I'm gonna have to try this one out because it is a really nice scent I do really like this one all right then we have here Luna this is a very very nice floral this is the only floral we have in the catalog for fall and winter same thing as last year it's a very very popular scent it's very very pretty it's a lighter type of floral scent I like this kind of floral most of the floral scents that come out for spring and summer I absolutely do not like at all we have here a caramel apple craze this is a very very popular one as well this one smells exactly like boardwalk from Bath and Body Works oh this one is just so divine it is juicy caramel apple like you're going to the fair it's oh god I can just like taste it in my mouth we have here Cloudberry Dreams. This is more of a, I, I think this is under a fruity. I think this is under the fruity category. It's not my favorite, but this is a very, very, very popular scent. We have here Vanilla Mint. So I actually decided that I wanted to try this one because I do like, a, I love vanilla scents and I like peppermint scents, but I don't love like the hard hardcore type of peppermint scent sometimes i find that they're a little bit overwhelming so i'm like you know what let's try vanilla mint i actually do like the way this one smells i've heard that this one is not a strong performer so i think that might be good in my case maybe if it's too light maybe i can add a little bit of vanilla maybe i can add a little bit of the peppermint scent in here because there is one i think called perfect peppermint 
yeah so this would be nice to like still mix with like vanilla and like the peppermint scent so that i'm excited to try out we have here dancing sugar plums this is also another popular one next up we have here almond croissant now for me this one i will forever love this is the very first scent i ever warmed uh when i first tried out scentsy i've known about scentsy for maybe 10 years because my mom used to use it and then i just last year i just basically started getting into the scentsy wax bars and this was the first and i absolutely love it i kind of regret not like trying scentsy any earlier but hey you know what better late than never right so that one's a really good bakery scent. We have here Autumn Road Trip, another popular one for fall. We have here Silver Bells. I absolutely love this one. This is also a nice, this is a fresh scent, but it is minty. It is also sweet. Oh, this one has, I think it's not even, I think it's candy cane. I think that's the description. It's candy cane, candy cane and mint. And something else, oh, I can't remember, but it's such a nice sweet scent. Really, really like that one. Sweet, fresh scent. I really like a lot of the fresh sweet scents. We have here a Blue Grotto. This is another one that has been in the catalog since I've, you know, entered into the Scentsy world. And I've never gotten to try this one. But I want to give this one a go. See how this one performs. A lot of the citrus scents, I don't, I don't know why I'm like holding back from trying them out. I think it's just because they're always available in the catalog. So I'm kind of like, oh, I need to try these other ones. Because Scentsy is always coming out with wax bars, guys. It's like, it's insane like to go through so many of them. Then we have here Jeweled Pomegranate. This was also a scent of the month for last year. Oh, that one smells really nice as well. And then lastly, I have here, before I get into the sniff session portion... I have your birthday wishes guys there is a sale happening right now and i'm so bummed out that this sold out because i wanted to get this um they had the five bundle for the moment by moment collection and of course birthday wishes is the one that sold out i have this one in my club so it's okay but i did get one um for this order but i'm kind of bummed out that it sold out so quickly i wanted to get a few the deal is amazing guys like absolutely amazing but oh Guys, I love the scent so much. Let me just pop this out. Oh, this is just pure birthday cake. I absolutely love this one. I find that this is a little bit sweeter than uh, the vanilla bean buttercream because it does have, obviously, a lot of vanilla in here. But it's the cake batter that really, like, sweetens this up. So I'd actually love to know the difference between the birthday wishes and happy birthday because I know there's a wax bar that's happy birthday and I don't know what it smells like. So if anyone has already smelled that one, can you guys tell me what the difference is between the two? Like, is it sweeter? Is there more cake batter? Like, what is the difference? Because I have no idea what that one smells like and I really, really want to smell that one. Alright guys, so I actually have more for sniffs to do with you guys because I forgot that I ordered the holiday collection. Um, so we're just going to get started with that. So the first one we have here is Mulled Cider and Spice. And Sansi says, Juicy Blood Orange is the start of a sweet fruit cider spiced with cinnamon. Guys, everything has... Everything just why does everything have to have cinnamon? I'm like, can we just give cinnamon a break just like for once? Just for once. Uh, anyways, mold cider and spice. Yeah, no. No, no, no. That, this is not for me. No, 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 no. I do not like that whatsoever. It is uh, okay. It literally is or like it is blood orange. It is that more sour type of orange. And you are getting the spice. Oh, it is so strong though. I'm gonna try my best to tell you guys you know exactly how it smells like, but I don't like this one. Then we have here Joy and Wonder, and Sensi says, delightful red currant and black raspberry mingle with a cinnamon stick. More cinnamon! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. Okay, this is different. This is actually not bad. Okay. I feel like I'm getting a lot of the red currant. And I'm getting a lot of the raspberry. 
The cinnamon is I smell it a little more when like I when I took out the wax But this isn't so bad. It's not like the cinnamon does not overpower this scent whatsoever But I'm getting a lot of red currant like this is like the main note that I'm getting from this This is a very nice fruity scent the base, okay, so the base of it kind of smells off to me, but the top smells really, really, really good. I'm kind of nervous for this one, just because why does it smell so off on the bottom, but the top smells so beautiful. Anyways, then we have the last scent for the holiday collection, which is Mighty Pine. Scentsy says, fresh cut pine trimmed with icy lavender shines through crisp mountain air. Okay, something different, a little bit more fresh. Oh, Jesus Lord. Okay, this one's really strong. Very, very, very strong. You definitely get the pine in here. It is super, super, super strong. Oh my God. Okay, I get the lavender, that's for sure. And I'm definitely getting that crisp mountain air. Holy fuck. This is very strong, guys. If you guys want Hold on. I feel like if I had, if I had sinuses right now, it, everything would be cleared out right now. This smells super super strong. I feel like this is going to be a strong performer, very strong. Not my favorite though because it's a little bit too much for me. I think the lavender just adds a little way 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 too much for me. Anyways, all right, and then starting off with one of the license bars we have here, DC Justice League. And Sensi describes this as bergamot and sandalwood unite with vanilla and watery greens for a heroic outcome that's bold and brave. Okay, guys, when I first saw the notes, I'm like, oh, it smells, it's going to be a nice fresh scent. There's some, there's some vanilla in here, some watery greens for that added, like, you know, when I think of the watery greens, I was thinking of like aloe water and cucumber and then the bergamot and then the sandalwood. But when I saw like to me, it, it sounds like a really nice, sweet, light, fresh scent with that little, you know, kick of the sandalwood. But when I started seeing people reviewing this scent, everyone said it was like a cologne-like scent. And that's not what I was like picturing, okay? So I'm a little nervous for this one because I thought that this, I don't know, I don't think this one is going to be a favorite anymore just because of people's like reactions. But I mean, maybe I might like it. Who knows? Let's see. Okay, it's not really that bad. Okay, it's not Okay, the bottom is more cologne like I'm getting more of like the sandalwood But it's more soapy like at the bottom The top I'm getting more of the watery greens and the bergamot I don't know that I'm getting any vanilla. I don't think I smell any vanilla in this but this smells more cologne like at the bottom and then the top is just more fresh so not my favorite i thought i was gonna love this one for some reason and i just i just don't love it i just don't love it okay and then we have here olaf warm hugs so this is the one that i'm like i have to love this one okay there's no way i'm not gonna love this one and look how look how cute it is oh, so cute i love the packaging oh I love the packaging for these ones. So, Sensi says, he just wants to be loved, but also have fun. And this surge of cool mint and adventurous snow-covered woods surrounding a heart of warm vanilla is the ultimate homage to this charm. Okay, so. Ugh, let's see. Oh, this one's pretty. Yes, okay. I knew I would like this one. In terms of performance, like, I feel like this might be, like, a medium scent, maybe even a light. I think it might be a bit too light, but I do really like this scent. Now, thinking of what I just smelt, vanilla mint, comparing these two, I feel like this has way more peppermints in here. This has way less peppermint. Like, it's not as noticeable as it would be when you're smelling vanilla mint. But then... I was thinking of Silver Bells, because Silver Bells also has the mint in here. And I think the difference is, I feel like these both almost smell the same, Silver Bells, but the Silver Bells has an added note of sweetness. 
Overall, I do think that this is a really nice scent. I think it just won't perform as strong as it will um, compared to like Vanilla Mint or Silver Bell. So I'm gonna have to play around with this one and see how this one performs. And last but not least, we have the Sense of the Season. Let's get right into this. I'm super excited. Okay, the box is kind of like, meh, it's whatever. But I mean, it's the, it's the thought that counts, right guys? It's the thought that counts, but the, the box is like, meh, it's okay. But let's see the scents inside. So in this collection, there are actually two scents that are from last year, but Surprisingly, I've never smelled them even though like they were around when I when I joined Sensi, I never actually got to smell them. I didn't buy these ones. So I'm very excited to smell these with you guys so you guys can see my first impressions of what I think of these Even though I've already seen so many people review them, but that's okay All right, so before I actually smell these I'm going to just pick out what I think would be my favorite to my least favorite Just to see if like, you know things change as I'm smelling it because you never know so you guys obviously know that bakery is my favorite favorite category for scents so i'm going to go with cookies for santa first then i'm going to choose wassail wonderland spiced apple chestnut bayberry and currant will be fourth and then fireside chats will be last so first up we're doing fireside chats and sensi says shaved nutmeg and blood orange warmed by cinnamon and smoldering embers so i think because this is smoldering embers i feel like this is going to be like a very smoky type of scent not sure i feel like it's going to be really strong which is why i have it like to the bottom and also because there's cinnamon in it so let's just let's see how that works out um i don't like the way it smells at the bottom that much so, I feel like this actually has like a sweet note to this. I don't know what that sweet note would be from though. I'm definitely getting the blood orange, I'm getting the cinnamon, but I think the smoldering embers in here are very sweet. This is actually nice. So this is not that bad. It's actually not that bad, but it's not a favorite of mine. And like you guys already know, like around the campfire is super, super intense, strong cottage vibes. It's very, very woodsy. I know a lot of people do not like that one. I love that scent and it's because I feel like I'm getting a sweet note from it. And I think that's why I'm kind of liking this one a bit because it has a sweetness to it. It's still giving me like you know fireside obviously vibes and stuff but there's a sweetness to this that is making it nice and i can't figure out what it is yeah i have no idea no idea but this actually smells very pretty i'm kind of excited to try this one out this is very different okay next up we have here bay berry and currant and sensi says a wreath of peppery bay berry and fresh juniper adorned with bright currants Peppery Bayberry. I'm not even sure what that is, but let's sniff it anyways. Okay, this is pretty. This has like a sweetness to it as well. I do get the peppery, the peppery note in here. This kind of reminds me a little bit of a Giv um, G Givenchy, Givenchy uh, hot couture scent. It's really nice though. It's very, very, very fresh. I'm getting, oh, the current. I think it's the current that is adding the sweetness to it. It's actually very pretty. I like this one. This is nice. I feel like, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting pepper. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of peppermint in here, even though it doesn't say there's peppermint. This is a nice, fresh, tree type of scent with a little bit of sweetness in it that's how i would describe this one this is really pretty really really pretty i really like this one this one's nice next up we have here spiced apple chestnut and sensi says apple and maple wood simmer in a festive spiced rum Ooh, i'm starting to like the ones with like rum in it ah so good <laughs> oh this is nice i really really like this one really like this one you definitely get the apple. 
I feel like I'm getting a little bit of the rum, but I'm definitely getting the maple. Let me pop this one out. Whew. Okay, now I feel like I'm getting more of like an alcoholic concoction at the bottom. I like this. This is really nice. It's very different. It's not the usual type of scent that I would love, but I'm gonna have to try this out. This smells, this smells good. Okay, I think so far, I think I have these in the right order. I'm not sure. Let's, let's see how this plays out, guys. All right, next up we have here Wassail Wonderland. And Sensi says, orange zest, lemon peel, and cinnamon stick over fresh fur needles. Oh, this is really pretty. Let me pop this one out. I'm already getting the orange zest. I'm get, okay, I'm definitely getting the fur needles in here with the orange zest. This is a very, very nice Christmas tree type of scent. I really like this. It's very fresh. It's very, it's very citrusy. It's almost like I'm getting the lemon in here, but I'm not really. I think it's more the fur needles that I'm getting. This is actually very, very nice. Really like this one. Oh my goodness, okay. And last up we have here cookies for Santa. And Sensi says, treat the man in the red suit to baked sugar cookie topped with brown sugar and a sip of milk, okay. So obviously I've seen lots of reviews and a lot of people have said that this smells like spoiled milk to them. They're saying that the milk note is not for them and it just kind of ruins the cookies for Santa scent. So I'm kind of hoping I don't smell that spoiled milk note in here. So, um, I mean, I know everything's going to smell different when you warm it up. It's totally different from cold sniff. So I'm going to, you know, maybe I'll do a video instead for this, um, trying all these scents out um, and seeing, you know, my reaction to after I warm them up because it might be totally different from me smelling them. So yeah, cookies for Santa. Okay, hold on. I'm definitely getting the brown sugar cookie, or sorry, the baked sugar cookie, and I'm definitely getting brown sugar. I think I'm a little indecisive on this one. I feel like I need to try this warmed up to see because I feel like I'm getting a little bit of the milk. But it's not, there's nothing like, it doesn't smell spoiled or anything or rotten or whatever you wanted to call it. I actually don't mind this. There's a, there's something, there's something to this that I really like. And I think it's mainly because I'm getting a lot of the sugar cookie. I think it's butter. I think it's like. Instead of milk, I think I'm smelling more of a butter note to this. And I think it's because it's the sugar cookie. Okay, yeah, the more I'm smelling this, the more I do not smell the milk note as much. I feel like I'm getting more of like a baked sugar cookie, brown sugar, and butter. I'm getting a lot of butter in this. Like, it's extremely, extremely sweet for me. I really like this, though. Okay. You know what? Yeah. It sucks that when you see people's reviews, you if it it seems like it might like really influence like your like what you think about the scent, which is why I'm like I'm smelling this one a little bit longer just because there were so many like half and half like reviews. All right, guys. So now that I've smelt all of them, I can tell you guys that I got most of these in the correct order that I thought I would like these, except for two. So we still have Fireside Chats in last place. In fourth, we still have Bayberry and Current. In third, we actually have Wassail Wonderland. And in second, we have Spice Apple Chestnut. So those are the two that I decided to switch. I just feel like I'm really, really, really digging this Spiced Apple Chestnut scent so much more. It's really juicy. 
It's reminding me a little bit of like, oh, I don't know what it is. It reminds me of something that's really freaking good. And in first place, I do still really, really love the cookies for Santa. I needed a little bit more time to smell this one, but I really like this one. There's something in here that's just, it's reminding me of something from my childhood. And I have no idea what it is, but I am living for this one. All right, guys, and that was it for my haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed this sniff session. I don't think I've smelled that many bars for a sniff session since Bring Back My Bar. So that was pretty exciting. But I mean, we do have a Bring Back My Bar coming up in January, which is going to be here like any day basically this year has flown by i cannot believe it is going to be christmas next month like it is insane how quickly this year has gone by it is insane how quickly the pandemic years have gone by all right guys thank you so much for tuning in make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to all my social media platforms which i will link down below and if you're interested in shopping anything sensi related check out my website veronica and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys